What's going on? What's going on? Thanks for watching Mike Check today. We got a very special guest, my man, Mr. Mario Moore. As you can see, he got the, the V across his chest. The Vanderbilt Commodores. What they doing over there on West End, man? Well, recently we lost two games in football, but you know, we all right. We still good. We lost two strong teams, but uh, at the end of the day, they got a good basketball team coming up this year. I think they're gonna shock a lot of people. So yeah, I know that's right. Look. So you were originally from Nashville? Born and raised, I born in South right. Nashville, and okay. moved out to Antioch. Went to Apollo Middle School, Antioch High School, and then went on to Vanderbilt. Yeah, a star at Vanderbilt, I might add too. And he's uh, you continue your, continuing your basketball career with the Nashville Bronx. A lot of people don't know we got a, a pro team here in Nashville. The Nashville Bronx. You want to talk a little bit about the Bronx? Uh, well, basically, what the uh, Nashville Bronx is, is the ABA team that we have now. And uh, a lot of people who are unaware of the history of the ABA was, you know, the ABA was a slant. It could have went either way, you know. When the ABA was the one, you know, had all the players, you know, the George Gervins and all the great yeah. players. And then, you know, the ABA is paying all this money. So, you know, people started to transition and they had a lockout. The ABA is, what is that an acronym for? American Basketball Association. Okay, so, so we had the National Basketball Association and the American Basketball Association. Yeah, you know I mean, you got uh, CBA, you know, you got you got D-League. So there's a lot of things that we have and they're trying to get the ABA to come back strong. And uh, they had one here previously, the National Rhythm, which didn't work out so well because, you know, they came in 50 days before the season starts and you know to get something off the ground like that it takes months you know maybe a year of time and this is what's happening this time everything's right everything's structured we got the municipal auditorium which holds 9800 people we so, expect we expect all those the number he said we expect that to fill out yeah we're trying to get some people there for you know. the bronx so i mean it's, it's a good look you know they're paying me well so i can't complain about that and uh i still get to keep my day job which i work at apollo middle school so yeah, i still cool. get to Educating keep that the children yeah i love working with the no, kids that's right. you're an educator professional athlete you're doing it man you're I'm doing trying it. man i'm trying you know, we, we need more, more more cats like you out here showing you know the positive aspects of what it's all about about being a man about you know Handling what you're you know, supposed to handle and everything, man. You're doing it. I mean, you know, basically for me, I came from a single-parent home. You know, my dad was around, but, you know, he wasn't as around as much as I like him to. You know what I'm saying? And my mom, she raised me, my brother, and my sister. So, you know, and anything I can do to make her happy, anything I can do to, you know, not have her worry. You know what I mean? Because yeah, good, all my friends, you know, that I grew up with, they, they chose to go left. You know what I mean? And I still love them to death, but, you know, I have to do what I have to do to, you know, keep my lights on and keep the – Keep the gas tank full right now, you know, the economy band. Yeah, so. I know. You're paying top dollar for that gas too. Yeah, I gotta get it. <laughs> so what's your what's your position on the on the Bronx, the National uh, Bronx? I'm what the are point you doing? guard. I'm the point guard and sometimes I play two depending on if we bring in another another guard by the name of Eric Parham or DJ Wooson. If we bring in one of those guys, he'll kinda move me to the two. But you know, we got a strong team. We got Odell Bradley who also from he played at White's Creek and went to IUPUI. He's played in Venezuela. Uh, we got Ronnie McMahon who played in, at Vanderbilt and played in the NBA. We have Josh Cooperwood. I mean, so we have a really strong team. I it think, sounds you know, like it. it. Sounds like the it. The Final Four is here too, by the way. You know, the 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 championships are, are held in Nashville. I didn't know that. We're gonna be so you know, it's a good look. It'll be it'll be all right. We'll it's definitely gonna be, be there. We're gonna turn Nashville from Music City to basketball <laughs> city, right? That's what we try to man. We trying to do something, but you know. Then again, the music scene here is strong. As you see, the day I came out and seen that you got a lot of young talent and. And people who are, you know, just trying to be positive. I, I, I dug That's the last group, you know, young kids talking about God. I, I really dug. Yeah, it. man. You know, we, you know, we, you know, we show all genres, you know, for Cash for Live, you know, Mike Check, because you know, you know, Music City, you have to include all genres. Yeah, you definitely but, right. Uh, you know, especially the, the, pro, the positive kids. You know, we definitely gotta let them shine, man, because we don't get enough of that. Yeah, the, the rap they get, especially I work in the public school system yeah. and. And the rap the kids get, and, you know, it ain't, it's not fair, but, you know, it is what it is. And until somebody can, you know, young kids who, who want to step up and change that, that's what's going to have to happen. That's cool. Kids who want to make a change and, and do the right thing. That's cool. So what, uh, getting back to the Nashville Bronx, I mean, what's the schedule looking like? When does the season start? When is it in? How many With, games? On, home it's games? 36 games, 18 here, 18 away. That You know, we going to, they taking us to the Bahamas. They taking us to Beijing. So, Hey, wow. Beijing, yeah, which a lot of people don't know, have a have an ABA team, and the Bahamas have an ABA team. So, and then we got the Bahamas team coming in. We got teams from Atlanta, Houston, Cleveland. I mean, Kentucky, you know, North Carolina. So we start November 14th is the first home game. 
So if you can be there, the ch- the tickets are cheap. It's thirteen dollars, oh, and I mean it's you know it's it's it, it's fun. You know the, the rules cool. are a little different, so it's fun. And then uh, but we start November. November the 8th, we go to Knoxville. So we start officially November cool. 8th, but the cool. first home game is November 14th. So although you're based in Nashville, it's really representing for Tennessee. Yeah, basically. I mean, uh, Knoxville and, you know, Knoxville and Nashville is the only two that have teams. So, and I think that we have, you know, put together a, a stronger organization as far as the cool. the fan support. We're, we've been getting the feedback, and then we have one of the better facilities which is, you know, a lot of teams, you know, some of them that you go play and the facilities are not up to par. But, you know, it's all good. That's good. Well, I just want to tell you I appreciate you coming down, talking about the Bronx and your background. So you got the V on your chest, the Vanderbilt Commodores. All, all day, every day, you know. I, I love Vanderbilt, man. And, no, that's you know, right. So it's a good school. I got a great education. I got my degree. So that's, that's straight. You got to have that nowadays. And I just want to, you know, like I said, thank you for coming down and just showing the positive aspects you know, uh, your accomplishments and what you're trying to do. And just, I got to give you some that, man. We appreciate you. Not a problem. I Y'all give it up for Mario Moore today. Word up. Check us out.